Hello students. All right. So this is 8.2. The title of our 8.2 is The Law of Signs. So let's kind of remind you the three typical triangles. The first one is called the acute triangle when none of the sides are the same. Okay. And also all the, of the angles are less than 90 degrees. Acute mean is less than 90 degrees. Then the next triangle you have is called an obtuse triangle. That means one of the angles is going to be bigger than 90 degrees. Then the next one is called the oblique triangle. That means none of the angles is um, a right angle. Okay, so oblique triangle means none of the angles is a right angle. So let's talk to you guys about the different cases that we can use the law of signs for. Um, so there are four cases, okay? You can use the law of sine to solve for the missing angle or the missing side. Up to now, you have only been doing right triangles, okay? When you have a right triangle, you can use sine of some angle equals to opposite over hypotenuse, or cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. But if it's not a right triangle, you cannot do that, okay? So make sure you do not assume that any triangle is going to be a right triangle unless it's, it is stated, okay? So the cases that you're going to use law of signs for are when you know two angles and a side, okay? So this, ang this angle is known, this angle is known, and then one side in the middle. So do you guys remember that this is the way that is, this is written? That's the angles known, the side, and the angle, okay? So the two angles and the side is in the middle of the two angles. Case number two, or, I'm sorry, still case number one, or you know two angles and a side still, but the side is first, then an angle, then another angle. Case number two, you can have, use the law of signs if you know two sides, okay, and then an angle. Case number three, you can use the law of signs if you know a side, an angle, and a, and a side. And the last case, when you know all sides, okay, so all the sides are given to you. So, the theorem, the law of signs is used to solve triangles for which case one or two holes, okay? Then we'll talk about case three and four in a little bit. So, the law of signs states, sine of one angle A over leg A is identical to sine of leg B, I'm sorry, sin, sin of angle B, sorry, sin of angle A over leg A is exactly the same as sin of angle B over leg B, which is equivalent to the ratio of sine of angle C to leg C, okay? So this is what it is called the law of sines. And again, the law of sines can be used in non-right triangles, okay? So let's move to we're going to go straight to example one right now, and then we're going to come back to the oblique, the, um, uh, the ambiguous case. Okay, so let's go to example one. 1A. Solve the right, I'm sorry, solve for the triangle. Solve for the triangle means of finding the missing parts. We have done this already before, okay, but before the, the parts were easier to solve or they were either a right triangle. So you are given, keep in mind that this does not say a right triangle, so you cannot assume anything. So draw it out. You can label it however you want, okay? It's not important as long as you know if this is A, this is 40 degrees. That means this little A is four units long. If you put B up here, then this is 60 degrees, then this is leg B, and C is unknown, so this is leg C. But 180 degrees is in a triangle. You already know two of the three, okay? Let me just write the symbol angle. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. You already know these two, okay? A and B. So A is 40, B is 60. So those two already give you 100. So now I'll solve for C. So angle C is just going to be 80 degrees. So right away you know angle C is 80 degrees, okay? Let's find your two missing legs, leg C and leg B, okay? Leg C and leg B. Okay, so 
Let's use the law of sines. Since you know sine C over leg C equals sine A over leg A, okay, let's solve for it. Or even sine B over leg B, okay, let's do this two first. Angle C is 80 degrees, so sine of 80 degrees over leg C, which is unknown. Sine of angle A, A happened to be 40 degrees all over leg A, which is four units. And from here, you would definitely need to cross multiply. So this will give me C sine of 40 degrees equals to four times sine of 80 degrees. You need to change your calculator into degrees because this has a degree symbol. Decide to divide both sides by sine of 40. Okay, so now I need to bust out my calculator. C is gonna be an average of, let's see, round to two decimal places, okay? So let's, let me find my calculator. Where is the calculator? There it is. Okay, so I need to punch it in. Okay, am I in degrees? Hit degrees, okay. So let me double check really quick, because I'm not really, I'm not familiar with this kind of calculator. So let's see, 30 degrees, sine of that. Nope, I am not in degrees, because sine of 30 degrees should have been radian, I mean, a half, okay? Right? So maybe, maybe this one's degree. Let's try it again. 30 degree sine. There you go. I'm in sine, um, I'm in degrees, okay? So this calculator is slightly different. Okay, so clear it all out, clear, 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 okay. So here's what I want to do. I want to do sine of 80 degrees. So this calculator, I have to do 80 first, and then hit sine. And then I need to multiply by 4 times 4 equals. Then I need to take the numerator and divide that, divide that by, I need to open my parentheses, okay. I need to hit 40 and then sine and close that up and hit enter. So I have about 6.13. Let's round to two decimal places, 6.13. Okay, so this is six, oops, 6.13 units. So that's what my C is, okay? Now I still need to find my B. So I'm gonna use the exact given parts, which is A, okay? Then find sine of B over leg B. You never want to use the rounded one, then that means you're just further away from the exact. So sine of A is 40 degrees all over little a, which is four units, equals to sine of B is 60 degrees all over leg B. And again, cross multiply, okay? When you cross multiply, this is B times sine of 40 degrees equals four times sine of 60 degrees. Divide both sides by sine of 40 degrees. Technically, you already know what sine of 60 is, okay? But um, since I'm gonna use a calculator for sine of 40 anyway, so might as well just punch it in. Calculator, let's clear everything out. Um, so let me go back and look what I'm trying to punch in. Uh, I'm trying to 4 sine of 60 divided by sine of 40. Okay. So with this calculator, I need to do 4 and then open parentheses, 60, hit sine, and then close that up. Okay. Hit enter. Did I do it right? I want to make sure. Nope, I did not do it right. Let's try it again. 4 times. Maybe I need to hit times. 4 times. There you go. Open parentheses, 60, sine close that up, there you go. That will give me the numerator, okay? And then divide it by, and open parentheses, uh, sine of 40, so close that up, equals. That gives me 5.39, okay? So 5.39, 5.39. So that is your leg B. Let's put it in here, in my box. Oh, that became pretty fat all of a sudden. Okay, so that's how you solve non-right triangles using the law of sines, okay? So this is the end of this video.